What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again with Operation Trebuchet First Contact. It has been three years in the making, but the update has finally arrived, guys. This is basically a uh, restart for First Contact, unfortunately, but uh, we'll get into that more in a little bit. Uh, so this is going to be more of a special than usual, guys, because uh, obviously this is a release, and I like to do the longer videos on release so I can... Uh, talk about everything without rushing um usually there's a lot of patches right after the release for hot fixes and some other news has cropped up regarding the normal mod so we're going to talk about all of that guys um so bear with me on the longer video this time and uh, check out this new content it's going to be a pretty fun ride i think uh so right from the get-go we have a uh new edition of the halo 3 style marines uh, these are by Morthon. Uh, they were originally in Operation Trebuchet, or not Operation Trebuchet, but uh, Opcan, the Optray side mod. And uh, they were lost when he switched over to, uh, hit, or he lost all of his files, I should say. He didn't switch over to anything, but he lost all of his files and he restarted the mod. Um, and the Halo 3 Marines weren't included in Opcan 2.0. Uh, they had had broken... Uh, configs anyways and their armor values were not set correctly so these guys have made it in uh, with their addition into operation trebuchet they now come with uh, some new weapons loadouts based off the optra team's uh, choices they have uh, a couple new camouflage uh, patterns and they've got some new armor designs that I, I don't think those were in opcan at all uh, I could be mistaken but these are the new loadouts for them pretty awesome looking stuff uh, along with those, they have a uh, standard helmet with visor, uh, medic helmet with visor and without. And then the next biggest addition would be the pilot helmet here. So this is another big thing a lot of people have been asking for for ages. Uh, the Halo 3 pilot's helmet by Immortal Phoenix has made it in. Uh, it goes really well with the Halo 3 Marine armor, as you guys can see. Um, there is not a pilot's variant of the chest with a little uh, doodad that sticks out there. Um, but... The dev staff said they don't plan on adding anything like that specifically. Uh, maybe Morthon or somebody else will make an add-on for that, but uh, I wouldn't hold your breaths on that at this time. Uh, in addition to that, we have a new Spartan. Uh, so the Spartans have... Uh, well, let's start off by saying this. This is the old Spartan. This is the one from Optray. This is, like I guess, the Mark IV armor is what this is supposed to be. Um... So this unit here, it's a special unit that has like increased stamina and all this other stuff. Uh, tougher unit. And uh, basically it is based off the Mark V armor, but it's different. Because it is supposed to be like a precursor to the Mark V. Um, the new one that was added in is the Halo CEA, Halo uh, CE anniversary version of the Mark V armor. Uh, this is, from my understanding, from a uh, Deviant Art. Uh, modeler who's made this and he's made it open source for people to use uh, it is absolutely gorgeous uh, just fantastic it looks almost one-to-one -one with the uh, with the anniversary version of the model um, some ha people have raised concerns that this is ripped um, I did see a side-by-side -side of the two models and there is definitely some uh, differences between the two though um, so I don't know 
uh, you know, and the the devs have been very uh, against obviously ripping, and I've seen that they've. Uh, I mean, obviously, I wouldn't. They wouldn't do that on purpose, but let me say that they've also gone out and you know they've put in a lot of work to ensuring that uh, this is not ripped. Um, and as you can see, he is holding the Halo 4 and 5 railgun. Uh, kind of a beast of a weapon for taking out personnel. It didn't seem super efficient against vehicles when I was using it, but um, just a devastating weapon that we'll have some fun with in a bit here. But the bread and butter of this mod, the Elite. So uh, <laughs> this uh, this is kind of a problem because I just realized some of the patch notes. I had all these guys like kind of preset so I could demo all the weapons. And uh, it occurs to me that the patch notes have changed this guy's weapon to a different one. So, uh, at any rate, let's go ahead and talk about it. So we've got new elites. Uh, I had been saying for months now that we probably wouldn't see the new elites. Um, I had shown off some images of the elites, but uh, was under the impression that because Drake Darren wanted to rework all of his older models, uh, these guys would not be getting into the release, even though they were the biggest problem with the last variation of the mod, with their uh, tearing textures and stuff like that. Um, they did make it in. They look absolutely gorgeous. I will say this. I love the elites in this mod. Just did a fantastic job. So, uh, some people have issue with the size of them, and I will say that based off the current way they are made, unfortunately they cannot be made bigger. Um, they are larger than the Spartans and the Standard Marines by a bit, but they uh, they basically work off this. Elite is a costume. It, it's not actually an elite. It's a, it's a human wearing an elite costume for all intents and purposes. Um, the the problem with that is that you can make them look a little bit taller but the the head up here i mean it does take shots it does take damage it seems but the the skeleton and stuff is based off of like the head being the same spot as this guy's head so um you know i don't know i guess that's uh it's just unavoidable is ultimately what I'm trying to say, sadly. And uh, in order to get these guys to be bigger, they would have to create new skeletons for them and do a whole new set of animations, which might not sound like a lot of work, but it is a huge, huge, huge undertaking, especially for something like an Elite, where it's so close to being a human uh, design anyways. It seems like a lot of work for no reason. Now, with that being said, the developers have said they might have found an alternative to getting some of the other Covenant in, so maybe that we'll see a rework at some point in time. Uh, not really sure. But uh, let's talk about these different Elites. So we've got a few different flavors of Elite here. We've got our Major, your Elite Minor, your Spec Ops Elite, your Ultra, and your Elite Zealot. Uh, a few of these guys are holding different weapons. Uh, but we'll talk more about the weapons as we go through because I want to talk about like each of the new weapons and just kind of show off some of the armor and how efficient these are. Um, so here we've got the bubble shield. Uh, now I have a demo video. I might or might not show it off here depending on how things go in editing. But basically this, uh, this bubble shield, you cannot shoot into it. But you can walk through it. You can drive through it. Um, the only issue some people had is that you can shoot through it, so you can shoot out of it. As you saw, blood came out of the Elite when I shot him. He is injured now. Um, so this is supposed to be a placeable object or something that you can take into the game and throw it or put it down. Uh, it seems the devs are looking into a method of making it like a bomb. So basically you place it down, it places extremely quick, and then you're able to like detonate the bomb to get rid of the shield. So... That seems to be the workaround they're taking to that, you know, since they can't necessarily make it a throwable, like a grenade. Uh, and then lastly, we have a barrier here. Now, the uh, the barrier, nothing too crazy or special about it. Uh, pretty solid barrier. You can see out of it. You can shoot out past here. Um, it does have a little bit of an issue if you try to shoot to the side, you end up hitting it, but um, not too big of a deal. I mean, you can shoot around and do all sorts of other stuff anyways, so not really a deal breaker or anything with that and it's just a good looking shield for the covenant uh, hopefully we'll see the energy shield something similar to this but maybe something that can be like depleted would be awesome if viable and then we have the old ghost here the uh, the old ghost is no longer in the mod so uh, all of the old assets were removed from the from the mod 
and anything that didn't get overhauled, which was only the ghost, is not getting added back in. So uh, I do have this in just because I managed to find kind of a workaround to getting it in, but it doesn't work properly. The uh, the cannons no longer work with my current workaround, so something I'm looking into trying to get working at least for my personal use for the time being. And uh, anyways, there is one other thing that was not included, which is a plasma grenade. The files are in the mod package, but it does not attach to people yet, and it's not quite ready to be put in the game. So let's go ahead, we're going to shoot a few of these people here and uh, test out some of the armors just to give you guys an idea. So let's see here, they are all standing in slightly different spots, but uh, most of them are on the line over there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to stand back about here and then we're going to take a couple steps forward for this guy since he's just back a ways. And we're just going to shoot him center mass. Well, he took a little bit of a beating, I mean he went down pretty quick, it is an SMG and relatively close range and just just for the sake of uh, kind of having a baseline die a little bit quicker didn't quite hit his armor hit more of him so now let's uh, let's test the Spartan so he's sitting back a ways he's sitting on that line so let's sit on this line here well so far he's uh, he's held up better than that uh, than that poor marine over there but not much better and for comparison, let's go ahead and get the uh, the old Spartan. Sorry about that, guys. So pretty pretty similar time to take him down there. Nothing uh, too massively different between the two of them. And then we'll go ahead and we'll take out these a uh, couple of these elites. Now this uh, I don't know why I just reloaded again. Kind of going crazy reloading on these guys. I have so many magazines in this because the entire backpack on this guy is filled up with magazines. At any rate. So quite a few shots to take him down. Definitely lasted a lot longer than that Marine did. So these guys, they can take a beating. Now bear in mind too, this is definitely not like normal combat circumstances. I mean, you're not going to have like 52 magazines to take these guys out. And you're not going to be like this close to them without them firing back at you. Um, so these guys can take quite a beating. Now imagine that at like a good distance out and you'll have a better idea of what combating these guys is like. Um, so let's go ahead and check out some of these new weapons. So we've got the, uh, the rail gun here is one of the first new weapons that was added. Um, actually hang on one second. We're going to rearm here. So we've got all the, uh, all the rounds for this thing. So the rail gun is a single shot weapon. Uh, it's got no iron sights, as you guys can see. This was uh, donated to the mod by Monk One Junk One, and uh, it operates off of a smart like scope built into the weapon. So let's go ahead and use this. So I want to line up this shot just to give you guys an idea of like what this weapon can do. Oh, that was more efficient than the last time. Last time I only took out two guys. <laughs> um, so you can see we just took out what three guys there four guys so um pretty pretty awesome i think yeah it was just devastating weapon really loud quite the punch it packs i uh, do have to reload after each shot to balance it out but uh, if any enemies get lined up they are uh, they're done skis and then we've got this guy which let's see here Yeah, so one shot the Elite 2. Uh, we're going to really quick, we'll restart this, and we're going to check out some of the Covenant weapons here. Uh, test those out on the, the Marines and stuff just for comparison's sake. I was just going to pick up the weapons, but I have to get in here and get into a personal arsenal to show off all these weapons anyways because of the changes that were made. Uh, so, for those of you who have been playing this since the release, since this video is coming a little bit later, uh, they have had a couple fixes. Uh, firstly, the elites were not showing up in Zeus. That has since been fixed. Uh, the elites now show up in Zeus, or they should be. Uh, and on top of that, the, um, there was a couple other changes. They were shooting past, like, uh, 50 meters out, which they've now fixed that. Uh, the, okay, so the bubble shield is now deployable, so that actually should be in here, so I'll have to take a look at that. Uh, de decrease the specular intensity of the 
uh, Mark V Lawner armor. So you guys are seeing the updated model here. Uh, added proper HCW Mark V Spartan units. That should be him, but I'm not sure. Uh, added appropriate Spartan stats to the Mark V Spartan units and changed thing Haley Majors and up to be equipped with plasma rifles. So let's get in here. We've got our new weapons. So first up is the railgun. Uh, I've got the sorted by mod. You can identify the first contact stuff as it basically has like an Armor 3 logo that's kind of faded out. Uh, we've got the plasma pistol, the plasma rifle, and the plasma repeater. So let's start off. We'll go with the plasma pistol and then we'll touch on the rest of these. Uh, so this is the new updated model for this. Like I said, everything that stayed in the mod is now under, or it's all remodeled, retextured, all that stuff. Um, obviously a significantly better looking uh, variant on this weapon than the previous version, and that's really true for everything in this mod. Um, it is still listed under rifle. Uh, I was griping about that because I wanted to see this as a pistol, that way they could carry both. Um, apparently it is listed as a rifle for animation reasons. Um, technically there is no limitations as to why it can't be a pistol, but it's just a, uh, it's an animation thing and that's the reason they've chosen to do it that way. But, uh, let's go ahead. Let's exit out of here. So just like the, uh, just like the railgun, this thing uses Smartlink scope, all of the Covenant weapons do. Um, no iron sights on this thing per se. There's kind of an iron sight type of deal going on there on top of the weapon, but it can't really be used as an iron sight. Um, no alternate fire modes, unfortunately, but that would be kind of neat if it did have one, or will have one eventually. Devastating. You can see that worked even faster than that SMG did, and I think we were further back that time. Well, maybe not. But, uh, devastating attack from the, uh, plasma pistol. Check your goddamn few more shots that time and and a splash I don't, I don't know what that was about okay um, Arma you know just a, a nice addition though cool weapon not much else to say about it uh, it does have as you guys saw new plasma bolts I think the sound effects might potentially be new I'm not sure um, but the bolts do look much better than they used to if you guys remember the old version of the mods like the bolts were massive and super slow traveling uh, So this is the updated version of the plasma rifle Let's actually go back in here for a second so you guys can take a better look at the profile of this weapon uh, So once again another gorgeous model uh, updated textures updated model is all in here um, It's gonna have updated uh, Plasma bolts coming from it just a good-looking weapon once again Smart link scope, no iron sights to uh, to speak of. Uh, pretty devastating closer ranges, and that's really true for most of the Covenant weapons added, is that they are more uh, close to medium range engagements is what they're intended for. They're definitely not long range weapons. Um, accuracy, as you see, becomes an issue at longer ranges. Uh, I mean, you know, you can counteract the, the recoil on this thing. It does have a fair amount of recoil, but you can counteract it. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely not the most efficient weapon for long off. Let's go ahead and toast this guy. It's another, another quick kill. So pretty, pretty quick and devastating. Should have killed the uh, the last of the Marines with that, just so I could give you guys a uh, comparison to this next weapon. So then we've got the uh, the plasma repeater. This is going to be on your St. Healy miners, I guess. Um, it's a larger weapon, obviously, just like in the games. It's you know a new weapon to this mod, so this wasn't in previous releases. Um, there's a few other model things I'll show off to you guys once we actually start using the weapon, but another cool looking weapon. Uh, nice to see kind of that addition in there, just like the others, smart link scope and all that. So I mean, it took out that Spartan really fast there. It took him out really fast. <laughs> uh, so if you look, when we reload, uh, it's got the the little vents that open up like it's trying to cool off. Uh, firing there, you can see that thing spinning, and you can see the recoil in effect there. Since I wasn't paying attention or trying to uh, counteract that. So 
so these are the new covenant weapons. So let's see if we can't find uh, that. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if it's gonna be under grenades or what it's gonna be under, but we'll try to find the uh, the bubble shield. Uh, it's probably gonna be under explosives, I would think. Our training mines. Deployable bubble shield. So yeah, if you go into your explosives, you have your deployable bubble shield there. Um, so it just places it down just like this, I guess, and it still is a placeable uh, or edit like editor placeable object. So what happens if we're going to touch up bomb? Nothing. We're safe. We're, so you can you can destroy it. Um, I'm, so I'm kind of curious here if we uh, we do that again. I'm just curious if it can be destroyed. So let's go back in here. Go back under explosives. Oh. So let's go back in, and I'm curious if there's a you know possibility to destroy this. Like say a an elite or somebody throws down a bubble. Shield. Well, can't be destroyed, but apparently these elites can't be destroyed by just a little puny human grenade either. So, um, it is a little bit, a uh, little bit disappointing that can't be destroyed at this time. But uh, hopefully, they'll put like a physical object, like the actual bubble shield uh, generator there. Then, in that case, uh, since they're going off the uh, the placed version as opposed to like the thrown like grenade shield that you see in the early video for Halo Three. Uh, what else is there? So, we're going to go back out to the editor here just so I can show off to you guys the placeable objects and where everything's listed at. So, first up we have the uh, the Marines and the Spartans. Uh, under Blue 4, go to UNSCDF. Uh, this is included in the op tray, so it's just listed under the same stuff as all the other op tray uh, units. Uh, for the Marines, you go to Marines HCW, which I'm guessing is Human Covenant War. Uh, you've got... All of the Halo 3 Marines right here. For your Spartans, you go down to Spartan 2 HCW. Um, so these were just one unit before. Now they've actually come out with various classes of these guys. Um, and they use weapons kind of based off of what you'd expect them to. So um, being that this is, you know, the Halo 1 version of Master Chief, basically he's using the... Um, sniper rifle that you'd seen Halo 1, Halo 3. And uh, let's see. So we've got him. Uh, ooh, interesting. The The original one that spawned in spawned in with an MA5B, but this one seems to spawn in with a 5C. I'm not sure if there's a variant that does spawn with the, uh, the B, but it's looking like they got rid of that. That's kind of disappointing. I actually like that they had spawned him in with the... Uh, with the 5B, just because, like, you go through all those guys and they're all using the 5C and they're all Halo 3 ants, but then you have, like, the Halo 1 version of Master Chief using the 5B, which was the rifle from that game. Oh, just a little small thing. I mean, it's super easy to change that in the editor, so it's not a big deal. Uh, you go to your Op 4, you go to Covenant. Uh, so, like I said, my, mod my version's a little bit modified so I can get the Ghost. Uh, your version will not have the cars because your version does not have a ghost in it. Uh, you go here and you'll see your elites listed this way. And then lastly you go to your props. And then you go to Optray FC Objects. Energy Shield. And uh, Guardian Triptych which is the uh, the other barrier. So that's how you get all that. We're going to go in and we're going to just check out the stuff to in personal arsenal. You guys have already kind of seen like the weapons in personal arsenal, how to find them, how to identify them. So you can just use the same premise to identify uh, armors and stuff like that. But we're still going to go in here. I'll still show them off for you guys. Okay. 
So they're trying to engage the Covenant. I forgot about those guys. I didn't even think about that. Well, that's fine. They can do that. We'll see how well they actually kill these elites in the meantime. They've got a sniper rifle, so they should, in theory, be able to do some damage if they can hit them. But it sounds like they, or it looked like they might be struggling. Uh, so let's start off. If you go down, we're going to sort by mod again. You've got your, uh... Check your goddamn fire. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this armor, because that ODST armor is going to, like, hide everything from us. All right, so you got your 31 Marine BDU. That is going to be your Halo 3 style uh, Marines. So you've got a variety of those. Uh, you've got the Milan or Mark V armor uh, HCW Human Covenant War. Uh, so this works just like the Elites. Uh, this is all in one thing. So you've got your armor, you've got your undersuit, your helmet all comes in on this one. It's all equipped through the undersuit. Uh, a little bit disappointing, but that's okay, I think. I, I've always kind of never really liked the idea of, like, Spartans taking off their helmets. It just feels like a thing that's kind of against the lore and stuff. Uh, one of the things I was never too big on from the newer Halos. Well, they, uh, looks like they killed all the Elites, finally. Just barely, though. Uh, the Elites work under the same method, like I said. You can see there is a sizing difference between the Elites and like the Spartans and the Marine and all that, so. Actually, I think the Spartan's shorter than the ODST. Oh, well. Anyways, the Elite is, uh, the Elite's, like I said, is much bigger. Looks hilarious using that gun. It's a little bit better. Anyways. Uh, so we go, we're gonna go ahead, go back up. We're just gonna put on some, then that's not a ghillie suit. Just some random armor, it doesn't really matter what. Uh, so once again, we're going to go sort by mod. Drop down here, we've got two pieces of body armor added in. Uh, both for the Halo 3 uh, Marines. One without shoulder pads and one with. No new backpacks have been added. However, there was, like I said, the new helmets we've talked about already. Uh, once again, selecting our uh, sort by mod and going down there. Uh, no new glasses or anything else has been added. Uh, no elite voices at this point. Maybe somebody will release a side mod with some uh, some alien voices or something that you can use. Otherwise, uh, the Mass Effect mod, some people have suggested using the Turian voices from that. But uh, this is all I have to show you in-game, so let's talk about some out-of-game stuff here next, and then we'll, uh, we're going to talk about what's coming up next for First Contact, what you guys can expect in future releases, and all of that stuff. And then uh, talk about regular Operation Trebuchet, because we've got some stuff to talk about there too, guys. So like I said, it's it's been pretty busy the last several days. Uh, the devs have teased a lot of stuff. They've talked about uh, future things for the mod. And uh, we'll go into that. So like I said, one of the first things we know is probably going to come in the next release of uh, First Contact is going to be the uh, Plasma Grenade. Uh, Jedi Nick has already modeled this out. Um... He's the one responsible for making the Welcome to Reach mission. He's uh, he's done a couple other things, like some of the bombs and stuff that are placeable now. And uh, they're basically trying to work on a way to get the uh, the plasma grenade to stick to people if they can. Uh, they can stick it to a vehicle. That's no problem at all. But yeah, getting it to stick to people has been a uh, an issue they can't quite work around yet. But uh, the models there. Uh, it has been textured. It's all been done under the newer way of doing things, so they won't have to redo it or anything. It's just got to get uh, configured uh, correctly and get it working how they want it to, be, and it will be ready to go. Uh, beyond that, we don't really know much about whether weapons or vehicles are being worked on. We know that they are being worked on, but not what. Um, so they've said vehicles are probably going to be out of patch or two before we start to see vehicles in first contact. Um, I imagine one of the first things that's going to get reworked is going to be the Ghost, just because it's a uh, it's an iconic vehicle for the Covenant. Uh, it's a really light vehicle. It's something that works really well in just basically any kind of mission, um, quick transport vehicle and stuff like that. It doesn't work super well in Arma, though. That's the only reason they might avoid it, and that's really true of all the Covenant vehicles. Uh, because Covenant vehicles are designed so that they can kind of like strafe back and forth and back up really easy. There's really maneuverable and agile vehicles. And uh, that doesn't necessarily work super well in armor, at least not at this point in time. So we'll have to see if they can find some way of, uh, of getting that to work. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe tricking the game into thinking it's like a super fast moving tank or something. I don't know. But... Uh, 
In addition to that, we have some news that they might have found a way to get other Covenant working at Leeds. Or, uh, Leeds, obviously, they just put the costumes on these guys, but with uh, Jackals and Grunts, they're obviously missing. Uh, Grunts are kind of the backbone of the Covenant, and then you know Jackals shortly following them there. And a lot of people have been requesting them, but because of their size, that does make them hard to implement. Uh, without creating a new skeleton, but the devs have said they've found a pos you know, a possible workaround. Bear in mind, this isn't guaranteed, guys. Uh, this might not work out whatever they have found. They've been really tight-lipped about it, but they have said they've found a possible workaround to getting the Covenant to work. Um, what this is, I'm not really sure. I don't think it's using the same costuming method that they used here because um, they've known about this for a while, and that's not really swayed their uh, their decision or their methods here into making the Covenant. And one of the biggest reasons First Contact hasn't gotten love in the past was because of how difficult to implement the Covenant are. But uh, with that being said, the devs seem to have found a workaround that's not involving like creating a new skeleton and animation. So I'm kind of curious to see where that leads them. Uh, on that note, let's talk about creating some new skeletons. We've got Morthon. Uh, he is still working on his brutes mostly. Um, what work has stopped, I will say that, and that's the reason we don't have them yet, but uh, they aren't completely dead. Morthon is still active. Um, I know he really wants to see those brutes in game, and he's put a ton of work into them, so uh, the problem is is that he's got some schooling or some other stuff going on, so he's been pretty busy dealing with that stuff recently, which is why we don't already have the brutes. Um, they do have probably about seven to eight months worth of work left in them before we get the brutes in game, and then that's time actually spent with him working on it so if he doesn't start working on it for another month or two you know we might not be seeing them for about another year and that's assuming he does like i said pick back up work on them uh beyond that we don't really know too much else about the next first contact update the devs have said it might be a while before the uh, the next one drops um they have thrown a very very loose number that i don't think was actually intended to be taken as any sort of release timetable so i'm not going to say what that number or how long that was because i just think that was just some like random thing uh one of the devs was making as kind of a quip but uh we do have some news about the next operation trebuchet release and that's going to be a little bit sooner than i was expecting probably sooner than you guys were expecting too so let me uh, let me get that image pulled up here real quick guys or those images i should say and uh, we'll talk about that some I have to get through a couple folders I have uh, right now. I have another project I'm working on for OpTrade to talk about the history of the mod that I had started before you know Red Dead came out and all this other gaming stuff came out, plus you know my extended work time. So let's go ahead and uh, start talking about this. So obviously one of the things we talked about in the last update videos was the uh, the battle rifle that Zephyr Souza has been working on. So for the battle rifle, we have some more uh, work in progress images being shared by Zephyr here that I've got for you guys today. Um, this weapon, we've got variants with the heavy right or with the heavy barrel and without the heavy barrel. Um, really, the only difference is is the uh, the heavy barrel is a little bit bigger. I think looks kind of almost like a silencer attached to the weapon, and then you've got the uh, like the more standardized barrel. I think that's what it is, which has like a small secondary like. Uh, barrel or whatever cooling thing that's uh, below it. Uh, Zephyr has said that this is probably going to work similar to the current battle rifle in game. She doesn't think there's going to be any config changes made, um, but because they are doing the different barrels, there's probably going to be some little bit of config differences made just to get the new barrel implemented properly and make it functionally different than the uh, the standard barrel that comes with this. Uh, beyond that, we have some other weapon news. We've got a uh, MA-37 that uses iron sights uh, being shown off. Uh, so the MA-37 currently, I don't think, has an iron sight variant in there. I don't really use the MA-37 a whole lot unless it comes default on a soldier. Um, I much prefer the MA-5 series to the MA-37, but uh, the iron sights in this look very awesome. It looks like they're using the... Uh, the standard iron sights from like the older models that the MA5 used to use, uh, which were pretty good iron sights. So nice little addition that they're putting in there. Looking forward to uh, seeing that in game and uh, being implemented in that way, shape, and form. Uh, so we've got 
Immortal Phoenix's uh, Army Airborne Trooper helmets. Uh, this version, he did actually release this helmet already. So you guys will see this helmet. You're going to be like, well, I've seen that. I've seen that in your videos. And I have used this helmet by the same developer. Uh, he released this to OpCan some time ago. Um, he is continuing to work on this. He's trying to get it to a uh, higher resolution, higher quality model uh, that he's going to implement into uh, Operation Trebuchet, into the main mod uh, for use there. Uh, it looks like there's some differences on the visor that he's mainly made there. Uh, kind of hard to tell whether differences or changes have been made without a side-by-side -side comparison of the two models there. Um, using the standard, it looks like marine armor, the woodland marine armor for this model, but he is supposed to be making a uh, an army airborne uh, armor for these guys, so I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work out currently. Uh, then we've got some boxes. Now, I'm assuming this is all bacon shelf stuff. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty confident it is because it looks just like the stuff he's been showing off previously. Um, so we've got a ton of new boxes from him. So, you know, mission makers eat your heart out, you know. Uh, we've got hazmat. We've got grenade uh, boxes. We've got socks and uh, underwear, it looks like, or something. Uh, we've got boots, hazardous materials, uh, turret mounts. All sorts of things have been added uh, to these boxes. So that's just a nice little addition. Not much else to say. We've talked about these boxes before, but just a new image for you guys. Uh, another thing we've talked about before but haven't seen in a while is a project uh, the Doggo was working on. Uh, Dog had started this before getting deployed. He's been back for a while now, but he's been busy on another project. Um, and so these didn't get implemented quite yet, but this is like a science researcher, Arctic researcher, um, so we've got a couple different variants on that we've shown off in the past, but we have like a, uh, indoor version, then we've got like a jacketed version with like a, a helmet of some kind and like breathing apparatus for, I guess, um, outdoors and extreme exposure. Uh, not a whole lot I have to say about them either. Now, <laughs> I, as you guys may know, I love the, uh, the M247 in Halo. My, my, one of my favorite weapons in the Halo universe, in fact. Uh, one thing that had been worked on it, or was getting worked on for it before it got canceled, was a uh, tripod mounting thing. Um, this has been picked back up, and we're finally seeing the tripod mounts in-game. Uh, right now, we're seeing the, the mo well, the tripod mount is the mobile one. There is actually a couple different mounts that this weapon uses for, like, the Pelican and, the, like, a static emplacement variant of it. Um, I'm not sure if this thing is going to be a editor placed object or if it's going to be something that you can actually like pick up and move. I'm hoping that is the case, but it is awesome uh, just to have that. See the character is crouched down next to it. So do uh, just do look forward to using this. So that's the last of the images that were shared. So let's talk about when we might see this next update, guys. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit sooner than any of us were expecting. Next month, maybe. So bear in mind, guys, you know, I, when I talked about the release for First Contact in the last video, I said, uh, you know, before Thanksgiving, then Thanksgiving, and then it ended up being like a couple days after. Um, so just bear that in mind. When I say next month, that is a very rough date. Um, the dog doesn't really want to commit to that date for sure, but... You know, he'd like to see that within a month or so, he said. So, you know, maybe maybe January or something even. Could be a little bit longer. It's much vaguer than saying, hey, it's going to be out before Thanksgiving. Um, anything could happen before then. I'm not exactly sure what this next release would have. Uh, probably the battle rifle. Like uh, Doc said, he's hoping that uh, that will line up at the same time and the battle rifle will be ready. Um, obviously, the, the airborne helmet that we showed off, the... Uh, the, the Arctic researchers, I think, have been mostly done for a while, so they should be ready to go. The M247 mounted variant, those boxes, um, all of that stuff should be ready to go for the next release. What else beyond that? I'm not sure. Uh, I guess we'll find out. But other than that, uh, I think that is everything for this episode, guys. Uh, it's been about 40 minutes. Uh, I'm probably going to do some missions where you guys are going to see me actually getting in, running around, and playing against these elites in a... Uh, like a dynamic recon ops or something like that on like Madrigal maybe. 
Um, at any rate, guys, just keep your eyes peeled for those videos. Uh, as always, shoot over those uh, those first contact questions, those Operation Trebuchet questions to me. I love answering those for you guys. Um, let me know what you want to see the most in the next update or the current update, what your favorite thing is, because I really want to know what your favorite thing from this new first contact update is. And lastly, I want to try something new. Uh, I want to welcome Tyler Lee, Gol Monzo, and Tessa Woodyard to the uh, channel, guys. They are the uh, the newest subscribers. Give them all a nice welcome in the comments below. Uh, something a little bit different, something I want to try and start doing from now on as long as I can remember to do it. Uh, seeing as how I've recorded this video three times and I've now done that three times, it's probably going to cement it a little bit better in my head, but you never know. All right, guys, take it easy, and I will see you in the next one.